Traffic jams are an absolute waste of time. We all spend over 60 hours sitting in our car, not doing anything. Well, today we're on the hunt for one because the all new Audi A8 has a feature called Traffic Jam Pilot. The car will completely take over with level three autonomy, allowing you to watch movies, check your emails, and just relax while you're sitting in traffic. So let's settle up and see how it works. A recent study found that Germans spend over 5 billion hours in traffic jams each year, with lost time costing the economy millions. Audi's all-new A8 is the world's first production car capable of level 3 autonomy. Using an array of cameras and radar, laser and ultrasonic sensors, the A8 is capable of reading traffic and driving on its own, with the company developing a feature called Traffic Jam Pilot, and today we're going to test it in real life. One of the newest features on this Audi A8 is the Traffic Jam Pilot, but it has one extra feature that we're gonna test out today, and that is uh, an option for people that have a medical emergency. So if something goes wrong while you're behind the wheel and you don't have control over the car, the car will be able to take over and come to a stop. So we're gonna test it out now. We're gonna set the radar cruise control to 60 kilometers an hour, and then we're gonna activate Audi's uh, traffic jam pilot, which autonomously controls the car. I don't have to look at anything. Uh, my video will start on the in infotainment system. Uh, I can have my breakfast, read the newspaper, do whatever we wanna do. So uh, let's give it a shot. Okay, this white Q7 in front of us is our benchmark car. It's now accelerating with uh, me in charge. I'm now going to activate the Audi traffic jam pilot, pressing that button. So now the car is in control. I'm uh, not having to do anything here. Uh, I can look at my screen and watch the uh, movie that's on display. And now I've reached a situation where the car's telling me, hey, are you there? And I'm gonna pretend like I've passed out or something like that. And we'll see what happens. Okay, we're cruising along and I think it's had just about enough. Here we go, it's starting to brake. It's pulling on my seatbelt a lot. <laughs> it's pulsing the brakes. <laughs> We've come to a complete stop. Uh, hazard lights are on, the car is unlocked, and we are ready for the emergency services to come and get us. So we have activated that feature, and from this point on, if, uh, if I was to still remain here, people could come and attend to make sure I'm okay. Uh, very cool stuff, and it shows that there are backup features there if something was to go wrong while you're behind the wheel uh, of an autonomous car. It all works well in theory, but what about in real life? We went on the hunt for a traffic jam with one of Audi's development engineers to see how it works. All right, we have just approached our traffic jam. It's uh, looking red and the traffic ahead is barely moving. How do we switch this thing on? Um, there is a button inside. Okay. There is written Audi AI. Yep. And this meant that the, the traffic jam pilot can be activated with that. Now we have to look that we get into the traffic jam. Now we see that it's white uh, indicated. Cool. Yep. And um, I would say push the button, please. Okay. All right, there we go. We are we are autopiloting here in <laughs> traffic jam mode. So up on the screen there, you can see uh, that the car is indicating we are in um, that one as well. That we are in a traffic jam, and that's obviously a very different screen to the one that you would um, you would normally see. And then we've also got uh, our screen here with. Uh, video now available as well because uh, you know you're in a traffic jam and you don't need to be doing anything else. So how long can this potentially run for? If this traffic jam lasted another half an hour, will the car just sort of continuously stay in this mode? Then you can do the traffic jam pilot for half an hour. Okay, now tell me, if you're in Australia and you've got pushy people trying to push in all the time, um, will this car slow down or let others in if they try and get into your lane? Yeah, this is right, this is possible. The car will have these uh, corner sensors and we know if there's a car which would like to cut in. Mm -hmm. So we would let them in. Okay. What you see also is that the car is orienting for the left side. This is because of the could be a case of an accident in front that there is some police from the back. Mm -hmm. So we have to give them some space to have this ah, rescue okay. lane. So what you see is that the car when the velocity goes to zero, for example also for motorbikes, yes, <laughs> yes. the car will orient to the left side and give some space for the rescue lane. And when we increase the velocity, then we will center into the lane because it's not very comfortable to be on the left sure. side. So for that example, when you imagine that we have this situation up to 60 kilometers per hour, 
it's not that nice. Yeah? Yep. You will not uh, have this because you feel very uncomfortable. So at higher velocities, we will send it to the lane back. <laughs> that is when we are on the right side, we would say, okay, let's orientate to the right side. Yep. So we have the left side um, free to have this rescue. Okay. Now, what happens if the unexpected happens and um, uh, let's say there is a broken down car or something like that? Um, are you able to take over um, or will the system be able to navigate around this, this obstacle in front of us? Yeah, I'm in every time I'm able to overtake. For example, I bring my hands back to the steering wheel and now okay, cool. the system is skipped. Yeah, okay. So now I am back um, and uh, the hand over to me. Yep. So and when I want to restart, there is stability, I push mm -hmm. the button and I'll be back in the pilot mode. While each new A8 built has this technology inside it, there still isn't legislation to support it. Addy is working with governments globally to effect change, at which point a switch is flicked to bring Level 3 autonomy in the A8 to life. Today we've seen that this Level 3 autonomy technology absolutely works, but the thing that's holding it back is legislation, especially in Australia where getting new bills across the line is like pulling teeth. But in the interim, head to caradvice.com to read about the all-new Audi A8.